guys welcome back to my youtube channel so for today's video i know i've been getting like a lot of comments like on my mercari videos so if you guys haven't watched me before my name is isabel i sell on mercari i've been on there for a while and i have over 100 sales on there so i've sold like so many things on there like i know mercari like the back of my hand and if you guys haven't checked out my mercari videos i have a whole playlist that you guys could check out i'm gonna link it up here so again i've been getting a lot of comments on my mercari videos and I know you guys have a lot of questions and I thought I would give you guys some tips so you guys could avoid getting scammed and so people don't steal your items that are uh, on Mercari that you guys are selling, okay? So first thing first, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you guys want me to give you more tips and also subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications so you guys don't miss a video by me and also comment any questions if you guys are confused like about Mercari or if you guys are having trouble, I'll get back to you guys. And yeah, so let's get to the video. And so I'm gonna be looking kind of down because I took notes because I really wanted to break it down for you guys. And I really want you guys to understand. So to avoid scammers on Mercari, you have to avoid certain buyers, certain people that are trying to scam you, uh, certain buyers that just wanna steal things. You know, there's, there's evil people out on Mercari. Like it's not 100% like, good people so my first tip um, to avoid certain people the first type of person that you guys have to avoid is buyers that have a high cancellation rate so usually when they have a high cancellation rate it will say on their profile it would say like 34% uh, cancellation rate or Mercari will usually warn you like they'll tell you like oh before you send out this order this person um, they have a high cancellation rate and that means that they usually cancel their order when the when they buy something so this is very bad if you are selling to this person because they might steal your product so pretend you ship out let's say a camera then they cancel their order then you already shipped out the camera they could steal it from you and sometimes Mercari doesn't want to help I much just be honest uh, from what I've seen and I've sold over a hundred things on there so sometimes Mercari doesn't want to help so you guys want to avoid that me personally I never sell to anybody that has a high cancellation rate if I see that they have a high cancellation rate I do not even bother I do not ship it to them I just cancel or I just make up some stuff you know it's better safe than sorry so the next tip that I have for you guys hold on because I have it in my notes I want you guys to know everything since I've been on there again I know Mercari like the back of my hand so and I always tell you guys the truth, I wouldn't want you guys to get scammed because that sucks when you get scammed. So the second tip that I have for you guys is to avoid profiles that have barely been made. So sometimes it will say on Mercari like, oh this profile was made like right now it's July 2022. So if the profile was barely made July 2022, I wouldn't recommend selling to that buyer because sometimes they will steal from you. Sometimes people are the worst, like they'll make a profile just to order something and then to try to steal it. And that's what sucks about reselling and selling like on platforms that sometimes people just want to steal stuff. It sucks, but that's the world we live in. But the way to avoid it is to just check their profile. Um, sometimes these profiles, they won't have a profile picture. So guys, just make sure to see like who is buying, who is buying your stuff. Like who is it? Is it somebody that has a high cancellation rate? Is it somebody that doesn't have a profile picture? Most likely if they don't have a profile picture and they barely made their profile, then they're sketchy. So usually, again, I don't do business with them um, unless like they message me and they explain to me like why they want my item that, I'm, that they're selling, I mean that, that I'm selling. So, oh my God, sorry guys. <laughs> so usually with the people that don't have a profile picture, usually some of them message me and if they have barely created their mercari um sometimes people just make profiles like to buy something and that's fine sometimes they'll message me and they'll tell me like oh i want your item i've been looking for it for a long time or oh can we negotiate like that's fine as long as it's like a trustworthy person um usually they won't message you if they're scammers because they don't want to deal with you um based on my experience uh, so another thing with the no profile picture and the new profiles 
usually Mercari won't let you um, won't let you get scammed because when they first create a profile with Mercari to buy something um, sometimes they have commercials like on YouTube or Facebook and then somebody will click on there and they'll make a Mercari profile usually sometimes people just make a Mercari profile to buy something so that's perfectly fine um, but usually Mercari has to verify their ID so sometimes they'll message you that they didn't let them they didn't let them buy your item like oh Mercari didn't let me buy uh, your item like I'm having trouble and you could just tell them oh you need to update your ID like that's perfectly fine but if it's like somebody that's mad that they can't buy it or like extremely mad usually scammers they're really really angry and they're very negative people so that's how you'll know the difference and sometimes if somebody's too pushy um, that's how you know th they're a scammer and they're trying to steal <laughs> so again Mercari will not let them order unless they verify their ID and their address so most of the times you guys are safe so the next thing that I have to talk about is low ballers there's a lot of low ballers like everywhere even on Mercari on Facebook you could find low ballers even at the dealership wherever you go like they exist so sometimes low ballers on Mercari are trying to scam you and the way that they're trying to scam you is by low balling you like to the max like literally like they're just low balling you because they want to resell what you have and that's how they're gonna steal from you so don't let yourself get low balled on Mercari because most of the time there's some good items on Mercari like um, my MacBook I bought my MacBook on there and sometimes they have like cameras like for very like afford affordable prices and sometimes people just want to get rid of them and sell them for like a really low price um, but yeah again with low ballers they're just trying to lowball you to resell it so don't fall for it always stick to your price um, sometimes they'll lowball you and then you give in and then you send them the item and then they'll say that it's broken or sometimes they'll even steal it from you if you have like a $300 camera or if you have like a thousand dollar phone or something like that so you have to be very careful of who you sell your items to on Mercari like it's sometimes so like hard I personally don't recommend selling anything that's worth more than 300 um, I think 300 is the max that I'll, I'll sell something on there because there's a chance that you will lose money but yeah just be careful with the low ballers guys so another thing um, sometimes if they're trying to scam you like they'll message you and they'll be rude like and demanding and I think I've mentioned that before in this video but usually scammers they they're rude so usually anyone that is rude they are trying to scam you they don't care they don't have any morals they don't care what happens to you they don't care if you lose money they just care about getting what you have so usually most of my customers are nice only the ones that aren't really trying to buy their mean or sometimes people will even talk smack to me on Mercari or even on other apps that I'm using to resell or sell so just stay away from negative people rude people are usually scammers um, that's just based off of my experience um, but yeah so and let me see the next thing is this is the most important one you guys this is what almost happened to me like almost got scammed like bad and it was when I was barely like starting Mercari when I was barely starting to sell on there like I can't believe I almost fell for this so usually uh, scammers will message you directly and they'll tell you that they'll pay you through PayPal like oh I'll pay for shipping and I'll pay um, whatever you need you know and it's like a good deal like it really sounds like a good deal like we'll go off of Mercari, we're, we'll go through PayPal and then you send me the item but that is how you get scammed so you guys want to avoid people that want to go off of the app of, off of Mercari you guys want to stay on the app you guys never want to leave the app because once you leave the app Mercari can't protect you and then you lost money through PayPal because you wanted to trust somebody that wanted to give you more money that has never happened to me because I kind of find found it like a sketch it was sketchy to me so you guys want to avoid people that say like oh I'll pay you through PayPal I'll pay you through Zelle 
or if you could like text me can you text me more photos anything that is sketchy like don't fall for it um so basically these are all of the the ways that people will try to scam you on Mercari especially uh people that buy from you it's just crazy um but yeah that's all i have you guys i know you guys have been asking me stuff and i just wanted to make this video for you guys so you guys could know like in depth like about all the people that are trying to scam you so you guys um can be safe and it doesn't happen to you and these are the stuff that i've avoided this is the stuff i've avoided oh my god sorry guys i'm still getting used to my my teeth like i don't know <laughs> um but yeah guys if you guys have any more questions like let me know in the comment section down below and make sure to give it a thumbs up if you do enjoy it and if you guys have any more questions or if you guys want me to do like a video on this like anything that you have trouble with like let me know i'm here to help and yeah like comment share subscribe questions down below and follow me on social media if you guys don't already uh, i like to receive your dms that i helped you guys or just that you watch my videos in general like i like to i like to hear it you know and thank you guys for watching my youtube videos and again make sure to check out all my videos all my other videos i have a lot on recovery so yeah be sure to check those out because there's a lot of information um that i have on there that's important again i would never lie to you guys or make you fall for a scam so yeah so that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it again like comment share subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys